Hi everyone, hi goblins, good to be back. Uh, a bit rusty, I haven't streamed seriously or, or did any recording or videos in about a month, I think. Last time I streamed was 10, 11 days ago. But for streaming and recording, uh, recording it was it was a while ago. Uh, today we're gonna play the demo of Tales of Arise. Uh, after trying, um, after, so bear with me a minute. I'm looking for my words. I'm a bit out of the loop. I'm a bit tired. I'm off of coffee. Uh, so today we're gonna try the demo Tales of Arise. Because after playing. Um, Star Rail, Honkai Star Rail. Uh, I didn't really like it more than, than a day, but it gave me the urge to play some more uh, RPGs. I want to say traditional RPGs, JRPGs, turn based RPGs. And I saw uh, this uh, Tales of Arise. Yes, is uh, they have a demo and it's on sale right now, but also Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous was 70% uh, off, so I just bought that. Um, so yeah, I'm trying uh, I'm trying a thing because I'm feeling lazy. I'm kind of sick of editing. I've had enough. <laughs> I like my Twitch channel more than my YouTube channel, but I, I, I like the comments I get on the YouTube channel. Like uh, People are being really nice. So I'm trying this thing where I'm streaming and I'm trying to do everything in one take and then I can just upload on uh, on YouTube. So here we go, I just started Tales of Arise, never played it. I didn't watch any gameplay, uh, but this is the demo. Uh, this game has an autosave feature. Do not close the game when the save icon is displayed on screen. Okay. Uh, voice language. We're gonna go with English. Give some love to the English voice actors. I'm gonna play with the settings real quick. Cause if I rec record, record, and the sound is too high and people can't hear me, then I, it, I cannot change the editing later. Cause it's all on one track. All right. Yes, why won't it read? Okay. This demo is uh, from a work in progress version of the game. Contents of it are subject to change and final retail release. Save data. You should have updated that. Save data will not carry over into the final release. Boo. No support will be offered in case of any unexpected or unusual behavior exhibited. Uh, start demo. Difficulty lore name. Lore name, normal, input queuing time. So yeah, last month I had a food poisoning and then I had COVID and right after COVID I had another food poisoning. Uh, so my body took a beating, let's say, and that fucked up my sleep cycle because I was sleeping all the time and so now I'm on five hours a day. And I'm on. I'm off coffee for the first time in what 15 years. I haven't had a coffee in a week. Uh, so shit is shit is weird. Select the character you wish to control in the demo. When you clear the demo, you can see a preview video for the character you are controlling when clearing it. You can see a preview viewer. Okay. Note the controlling character can be switched during gameplay. However, the bonus movie that plays after cleaning will remain based on whichever character is as a Alfin, a swift sword fighter with an array of arts to combat any type of foe in close quarter combat. Oh, bam, bam, bam. So it's action RPG. It's not turn-based RPG. Should I plug my controller in? Shion, a long-range gunslinger. We also use astral arts, letting her heal the party between shots. I like that. I like healing. Rim, rather Rimwell, <laughs> Rinwell, a mage who mainly relies on astral arts. Though casting takes time, her magic has a far reach. Law, a close quarter martial artist whose sheer power and furious strikes overwhelms his enemies. Poor pig, man, he's getting beat up. Kisara, a hammer wielder with a giant shield that blocks attacks, letting her fight on the front lines. 
The Halim, an all-round fighter who's rod, an arsenal of artes enables him to dispatch foes at a distance. What looks more fun to play? Sword and shield is always fun. Look at the graphics, that looks nice. Shion! Blah 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 blah. Yeah, I'm gonna take Shione because I usually don't like when the computer heals, they're dumb. Nice graphs. Land of Green, Eldeminantia. Continue past. Oh, whoa, very sensitive. Graphics are fucking sick. Right now on Steam, they have like the high, the super HD edition and the regular edition. Character looks cool. Move. A bit weird on keyboard, very mechanical. I'm yeah, using a mechanical keyboard. Dash. Jump. Hot move camera with, with the mouse also. So I guess it's made for controller. Menu and pause. We'll try with the keyboard and see how it goes. Can you go there? No, I cannot kill myself. Uh, mouse sensitivity. Options, system, settings. Camera speed, okay. What a lovely view. Pigs. Ooh, there's something I can pick up on the left. Okay, so there's no voice acting. So Zugals have infested even tranquil places like this, huh? That's a damn shame. What? <sighs> Great voice acting. What do you expect? Tame or straight? Wherever the Renans are lurking, Zoogles are sure to follow. The schlump is shaved. It'd be a surprise if there somehow weren't any Zoogles in these parts. Just great. I know that. I just It just threw me for a loop a little is all. Nice armor. Character. Man, the art is fucking cool. I'm sold just on the art so far, the graphics, like, feels like investing in my 3080. Finally pay enough. Paraka cha cha. When we visit an area for the first time, we'll have no idea what they're capable of. So think carefully how to put that blazing sword to use. Right, I'll keep that in mind. Now let's get moving. The scarf is sick. Boost strikes. Boost attack. Press 1, 2, 3, 4 to trigger the corresponding character's special move with unique effects. Boost strikes. Use normal attacks to build up the gauge. 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 Then when the gauge is full, press 1, 2, 3, 4 to unleash a potent co-op attack that can defend, defeat non-boss foes. 10 hits. Cure points. Consume when casting healing and support Artes. Allies HP. Artes. R, E, or F. 1, 2, 3, 4. Continue. Are you sure you wish to close the combat screen explanation? Yes. Basic combo. Combat controls. Press Q to perform a molar attack. At first you can string up to three normal attacks together. But by learning certain skills, this limit can be increased. Characters can also attack in midair after jumping. Arts are special actions performed by sending, spending part of your A G R E F to use the art assigned to each key. While A G will gradually restore automatically, it will restore more slowly when attacking. Push and press to evade an enemy attack. If you time it as if you time it well as an enemy attack is approaching, you'll perform a perfect evasion, allowing you to avoid taking any damage. Okay. 
So this is not turn based. Two. Oh shit. Um. Why am I shooting this guy? Bam 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 bam. Uh, first aid. Ah, <laughs> she said it. Ignisel Telesta. Okay, so that's. Bam 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 bam. I have no idea what's going on. Magna Ray. Magna Ray. Strike. I have fucking no clue what's going on. Boost strike. I think I'm too big. I forgot to reduce the cam. There you go. Boost strikes are one hit kill attacks performed in tandem with other allies. When you see the word strike on an enemy, press 1, 2, 3, 4 to use one immediately. Yes. Now we're gonna use this guy. Girl. Okay, the animation is sick. Great. I think I've got the hang of this. <sighs> Don't let it go to your head. Complacency leads to trouble. You never loosen up, do you? There's no such thing as being too alert in battle. On we go. Shionis perk. If you hold a key to throw a bomb. You'll fire special ammo at a bomb after releasing it, making it detonate more strongly. Special ammo shown to the right of JG can be reloaded with Q when at zero or by pressing Control and Q at any time. We won. Okay. Acquired items. Uh, let's see. The Japanese voice acting. Can we change it? Can we change it back? No. How oh well? Change party leader status strategy items. Silver chunk. Okay. Ooh, the butterflies. Control. Hey, Shion. Where does your gun come? Huh. A little bit of story. Where does it come from? When you're fighting, it looks like it just appears out of nowhere. Oh, that's transferal technology. When I don't need my weapon, I submerge it in empty space. And when I do, I summon it. Make sense? Not really. But it sounds pretty amazing. Huh? Well, that way you don't have to carry around any heavy weapons or worry about enemies trying to steal them, right? It's a pretty cool invention. You realize you're praising the technology of your enemies, right? So? Technology is technology. It's not good or bad in and of itself. Huh. I guess that's true. So here's the voice acting. I'm loving the graphics so far, and I don't really care about characters or story usually. Cooking. Uh, favorite meals. Uh, but this is cool. One thing that bugs me when they have characters like that, or like in Dragon Quest, is that they rarely change armor. Like, the look rarely evolves to represent uh, the changes with the game mechanics and the apple gel. What's this doing here? Okay. Big birdies. Hiya! Three Archer Hawk. Bam! Oh shit. Pam 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 pam. Reload. Pam pam pam. Haha. -ha. First aid. Are you doing first aid? First aid. Okay, the the aiming is a bit weird. First aid. Just use all of them. 
Ooh. And then Magna Ray. Ah, it's B. Crossblade. Okay, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I think it's not level 1. I think it's a bit in the story. Once the character's art, I missed it. Because the other guy that was talking to her has the broken mask. But in the video for the game, in the trailer for the game, he has a mask at first. So I think this is a bit... Maybe one hour into the story? Brimore. Metal Engraver. The Metal Engraver can craft accessories for you using ore that you mine from mining points. Once you strengthen an accessory and activate new skills for it, you can even transfer those skills to a different accessory altogether. I'm trying to be better at speaking. We can go here or here. The bridge. Or here. A fish. You saw it too, right? Wow. Can I fish? Not yet. Pam pam pam. Pressing Q cannot shoot the fish with my submerged gun. Can you see under the dress? Oh ho, 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 we can <laughs> First thing you do in those games. Alright, that's enough. I'm gonna get demonetized. They did take the time to put the butt crack in. Powerful abilities, that's something. Man, the graphics are sick. Pigs here, some dude. You too, though. I don't think I've seen you around here before. You two from out of town? What? So what if we are? What business is it of yours? No, not at all. You just don't look like you know where you're going, that's all. Right. You're right. This is the first time in the area. His armor is cool. Then you'll want to head to Vicente, the big capital of El de Minancia. Hmm. Minancia. Just know that, as you can clearly see, the area is crawling with zoogles. They all seem to be even angrier than usual. If you're not looking to get jumped by them, Stick to the highway. It's safer than trying to cut across the rough and run into trouble. Although judging by that sword you're carrying, maybe you thrive off danger. If that's your thing, I won't stop you. But don't say I didn't warn you. Anyway. Vicent, huh? What do you think we should do? <sighs> Not like we have anywhere else to go. Better than wandering those fields aimlessly. Then it's settled. We're off to Vicent. Safe travel, folks. I'm going to hang around here a bit longer in case more travelers like you to lose their way. Sure, you're so nice. Come on, guys. We've got lots to do. Okay, I can hear the monsters in the water. That's cool, man. It looks like paper, like a storybook in the back, like that caravan uh, in the back uh, background. Thank you. Can I go over here? Piggy, piggy. So, am I hiding anything? Yeah, I am a bit. So. Healing is a bit boring. Igni Celesta! Magna Ray! Sick. Strike! I missed it. Oh shit. Alright. Uh, we'll change the party leader. Oh, there's a some I haven't seen. I forgot who they are. Uh, I'll try Alfin. We'll go through them. Oh yeah. The explosive healer. What are those things I sometimes see you chuck out in the middle of fights? What you mean, my bombs? My boobs. Bombs. As in the things people use to clear out rocks? But I could have sworn I saw something other than fire burst from some of yours. 
Straight That's fire. because these aren't ordinary bombs. They're specially made ones filled with astral energy. Hmm. Okay. And why do you shoot the bombs after you release them? <laughs> He's me. It's a part of my strategy. The effects of my bombs change when I fire bullets of a different astral element at them. Damn. It makes it difficult for enemies to predict what effect they'll have, or when they'll go off. One moment you're using powerful bombs, the next you're using powerful healing arts. They're kind of on the opposite ends of the spectrum, aren't they? Think of it this way. If you ever get caught up in the blast of one of my bombs and you manage not to die, I'll be able to heal you using my arts. Hmm. I'll do my best to not die then. Good choice, smart man. Chest. Beef. You monster? Haja! I knew that rock was a thing. Oh, I'm still him? Okay. Alright, so bomb. And shoot the bomb. Did nothing. Magna Ray! How do I change who I'm... Okay, I can just click instead of press Q. One and four. And then... You missed. Oh shit, somebody's down. Rinwell is down. Because I don't know what the fuck is going on. Okay. Is he still down? Can I control somebody else? How do I control? Okay, a bit confusing, not gonna lie, for a demo. How do I change the party? There's like six people, but I, we only saw four. G recovery? Ah. Arts. Art screen. You can assign arts that you've learned. Uh, you can set three arts. Press initial three arts to use in the air. Press R and T to inspect the arts you have available. Characters uh, set to auto can use all of the arts, but you can press F to uncheck arts you wish for them to avoid. You can also cast healing arts from the screen as well. Okay. Displode. Quias impact. Spear sweep. There's a lot in this game. Strategy. How you party a person combat. Detailed settings. Fight autonomously, but use recovery support hours. I know this way. Uh, I we use on a character that you currently control. Focus on healing. What? Uh, 
Okay, party formation. You can change which character will fight in combat as well as who you wish to control. Their position determines what to press. Trigger the boost attack. Press query during combat to change who... Ah! Change... Press E to change who you control. Okay. Um... I like him. They're level 25, yeah. So quite a bit into the game. We'll try these for now. I just want to see how what they do. I thought I took you out. Shiana. Okay. Let's go! I wanna change. I'm pressing E to change. It's not true. It doesn't change who I control. Pam. Oh yeah, I can do other things. Oh, that's good. Damn, I have to like be at the right place. Why would you use the normal attack ever? Four. So sick. I'm convinced. I kind of want to buy that game now. I think if you play from the first level. Like from the beginning, it'll be easier to manage your characters. Oh, everything responds? After a fight? That's a bug. Beef again? I can just get unlimited? Things? You're a monster! No? Ah, cool. Okay. Very convincing so far. This should be a good place to fight. Wow, Kisara. It's so big. You're, you're talking about my shield, right? Protect ring. Items. Protect ring. How do I equip it? Equipment. Protect ring. Guy can't go there. That's a monster. Hiya! I won't forgive you. Pow pow pow. Learned seismic rupture. That's cool. Oh yeah. For me, there's too much going on. Something was interrupted. Pam 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 pam. Strike. Call someone else, so that's cool. I I think I'm getting stronger. Acquired items. Did I get a level up? I think I'm getting stronger, she said. 
But I think I'm stuck at level 25 for the demo. Move. Almost time for my evening. Camping out. In cup of tea. You haven't left all of your lordliness in the past. For those times when victory is in reach, it's our job as shopkeepers to help you get the rest of the way there. What will you do? Create accessory. Crafting accessories. You can use ore to craft accessories. Once you select an accessory to craft, choose the ore you wish to use as its material. The rarity and any bonus skills belonging to that ore will then be carried over into the accessory that's created. Ores can possess up to four skills. With rarer ores offering more skills, to activate these bonus skills, the accessories crafted from ore must be enhanced. Let's try it. Crafting. Uh, pro accessories to craft. Black Onyx, max HP 15%. Oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa, back. Warrior Emblem, attack 15%. Protect Ring, physical damage, minus 20%. Warrior emblem or to use. Gald, not gold, is gald. Uh, freeze resistance, AG recovery speed, penetration, elemental defense, fire damage, penetration. We're gonna go with plus fire. How about a protect ring? I don't have enough. Pebble Mass, attack, plus 20, dark damage, light damage, fire damage, max, HP, AG recovery. Okay. What do you sell? Wheat. Oops. Okay, it's very, very deep. Uh, how do I change my team again? I forgot. characters uh, how did I change my team I forgot help party formation Q is attack so I'm not changing the character see he has the helmet here Battle control, semi auto. Ah. Yeah. I try on something new. 
how did I change the team again? I gotta go poop. So I'll be back.
back. Um, so yeah, I forgot how to change the party. Where? Ah, edit. Only one equipment per character, that's a bit, uh, I guess it's complex enough already. Piggy! Seriously? Is this a joke? Learn hydration orb. This little girl is screaming in my in my ear the whole time. Ah, cause she's on the left, that's cool. She's right here. Yo, she's fucking beating. Explode. I'm really enjoying this. Enjoying this. Uh, let's see what the city looks like. Are you fighting me? Yeah. It'll be a breeze. Get in, get in. Let me help. I'm sorry to be a father. We've all got enough. Yes, ma'am. I always press two for some reason. More power to protect everyone. And to be protected. Yeah, that one. Let's go see these monsters. They look cool. This reminds me a lot of Dragon Quest. I wonder what we'll find out there this time. Which is a good Most thing, because the last Dragon I mean, Quest XI was really cool. That base at the beginning. Oh, Quest form! Star sweep! I'm being protected. They're talking so much during the combat. There's a lot of things going on.
Boom. Where are you going? That you mage looks cool. No complaints here. The more the merrier. Just don't go getting Where's my CP ideas? in red? Dawn braces. I found some equipment. Where is it? Maybe for him? I can't equip it? Let me take a look at it. Let me take a look at it. Who was that? Fuck, it's too fast. Uh, how do I change the party again? Oh, status. Right? No? Argus? Forgot how to change the party again. Strategy. Fuck me, man. I want this one. Fuck if I know, man. Edit, finally, okay. Oh, big pig. You can tell it's tough just looking at it. Yeah. It'd probably mess us up good. Attack! Relentless Charger. Weak point. Some large enemies have orange glowing spirit cones that can be destroyed after taking a set amount of damage. Doing so will break the core and down them. Depending on the enemy, these weak points can also be directly targeted. Oh shit, Alfin. Oh, it's me. Again, again. Heal! I'm being targeted. Zero CP. We're getting beat! Why can't I use uh, healing? Core break. Missed me with that shit. Oh, weakness, huh? Alpen is down. I can't heal. I'm down. Why can't I heal? So many things not explained. Oh shit. Fred. Blah, blah, blah. In here. More for the stockpile. Dance in the wind. Hold on to your arc. Here I come. Come to see. Hurt malevolent. Arctic waterfall. Free blaster. Dance in the wind. Feel. This will come in handy. Hurt malevolent. Magic is there. In here. I'll be saving this one. Oh, Violet. 
feel bad. Stay calm. You need to keep a level head. Right. Calm, Rinwell. Nice and calm. Holy, take care of Pluto. How can I switch? Oh. Oh, that's it. Did you take it, bitch? Use. Use. She didn't use it. There we go. I kind of like that when I don't have to do anything. Oh wow, good job. Resist. They're pretty bad at dodging. I have to pause to use the battle characters. Why can't I use first stage? I really don't understand. Oh shit shit shit! I gotta build up my CP like this? No, not even. Oh shit. Oh my god. Forgive me. This is my fault. Can you take it? What? Elusive deity. Dating pile driver. I can handle it. Ha! Four and up. Take you. On your Targets me. Still don't know why I can't heal. 
no explanation, no indication on like on the screen. beat this thing so fuck you CP A new lease on life. Here, let me help. First aid. Here's a healing art. You like me again. First aid. Move, move. Ah. Cunt. First aid. Mega ray. Here, let me help. Now we beat the crap out of them. Remind me to stay on your good side. For all your help, please don't mention it. I'm glad to know someone's got my On your knees. So now you're getting serious? Air pressure. No arms are being interrupted. On your knees. Far enough. Oh shit. Move, 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 bitch. Here, let me help. First aid. Begin. Core break. Here, let me help. How do you get CP back? And why is it healing CP? Let's go. Yes. Oh, cool. I kind of want to buy that game to support the studio. I don't know if it's for me. That was intense. Everyone's fucking dead in my party? Yeah, the fuck. Can't do anything. Alright. There's a treasure there. We're just gonna... Oh yeah, we can camp. Let's go look out the camp. 
Check out the camp mechanic. It's weird that everything I can just like collect forever. Ah, here. Yes, please. Whew. I think with uh they think. Or wait, what if we used weed and oh, no potatoes? I, I can't decide. Are you seriously thinking about food again? No, I'm planning battle tactics. Tactics, huh? I think if you learn the mechanics slowly, naturally over time, and you can customize your party instead of just being thrown in I like this, it's gonna be much better. We come across enemies who fight like you and try to dodge our attacks at the last second. I hate those guys. I can get some hits in when they move in to attack. But otherwise, they slip past damn near everything else I throw at them. If what you're seeking is a way to more reliably hit them, there is a solution. Try to outclass them on reflexes? I possess the ability to command Earth elemental beings to some extent. They emerge as the land itself and take root on my command. They will swiftly bind the enemies, at which point you can dispatch them. Huh? Uh... What he means is that he can make plants grow to hold the enemies in place. At least I think that's probably what he's saying. I'm glad at least one of us understands him. So basically, if we find an enemy that likes to dodge, we should let Doholim handle it. I shall do what I can within my modest means to help. Rest. Cook before resting. Attack up M, elemental defense, defense up, elemental attack, defense up, medium. Meunier. Mmm. Looks perfect and tastes just as good. Mmm. Thank you. A perfectly invigorating morning. Uh, your hair is sticking up in the... You don't do well in the mornings, do you? Okay, let's go see what's in that other chest. What could this be? Grape gel, it says on the screen. Aja! Now I know a little bit how things work. Oh, that's a big AOE. Just like I'm just gonna spawn this. So I can't just spam heal. Oh shit. How do I aim this? How do I aim at him? Yes. I like that they can jump in too, that's cool. The graphics are sick. With your flames and my technique, we're stronger together than we are apart. Silver Sword Owl. We got some good equipment. I can't say its appearance is to my tastes personally. I 
Ah, because it's a weapon last time. Yeah, there we go. She can use the star. Silver sword owl. Ah, it's a fairy tale. Very cool. Very cool game. Very well done. I wonder why are people not talking about it? Is it the price point? The price tag is a bit high? Let's see the the city. Horses. I don't sense any more enemies. Can't punch. Oh, I can harvest a cow. Hello. Milk. Milk. What? Sure. In fishing games, huh? I can swim. This is how you fish. Yes. This place is rather gloomy. Why don't you lighten the mood for us while we're here then? <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Columna Lazio. The fuck is that? Under the bridge. It's just a demo, so I'm not gonna go nuts and, and uh, look at everything. I like the art style a, a lot. Works really well. Look at this. Well, my manners. My name is Drashin. I work for the hey. city. We were told to come to Vicent. I'm guessing this is it. Yes. Yes. You've certainly come to the right place. I wish I could welcome you both. However, the gates to the city are currently sealed. Nobody currently allowed to enter. A dangerous Zugal is on the loose. Mm. I beat it. There's nothing to get a twist about. We saw plenty of them. Maybe. Rather large specimen. Mm. Worse still, trouble reports of an even large, larger Zugal on the loose, but that's neither here nor there. Until they're both been successfully hunted down for everyone's safety, the city will unfortunately remain under lockdown. Does that go for you too, despite being a resident? Sadly, yes. Due to a blunder on my part, I've been locked out as well. I'm just about to take shelter at a nearby ranch. You've both, you're both more than welcome to join me if you wish. <sighs> So you're planning on holding up at this range? Sorry, but we've got other plans. We can't just... Hey, hey Xion, why don't we get rid of those Zoogles ourselves? I was afraid you were going to have... Hear me out. The sooner we take care of them, the sooner we can enter Vicent. Better than just sitting around at a range, right? <sighs> All right, let's do it. Spit it out. Where are these Zoogles running around? That's unfortunate. They're in the Teatal Plains. Wait, surely you don't intend to go there yourselves, do you? That's exactly what we're going to do. Once we get rid of them, I want decent accommodation for the both of us. Got it? But there's six. Um, yeah, let's go check it out. If that's in the demo. Okay, off we go. Defeat the giant Zugo. Oh wait, I can go. I didn't. I didn't go up here. Chicken. Chicken. Water. Chicken. 
Blue chest. Vegetal well, we soup recipe. Really? I'm not all that hungry myself. Don't make me say it again. <laughs> uh, yeah, good idea. I guess she's the sidekick. Chest. So far, really getting rewarded for my curiosity. Rock wall. Weapon? Let me see. Rock wall. That for you? For her. Wow. That's cool. So I guess the characters are changing. Maybe armor is more rare. Blue chest. There's no point in reading it unless you plan on making it. Nah. That's a lot of monsters. You can grind a lot, huh? Get your party set up properly. What? A great plane that lies just on the periphery of whatever. Something feels odd here. Oof. Be on your guard. All we have to do is get rid of that thing, right? Jesus. Here goes nothing. The music is different. Looks like trouble with the Oh shit. I have to be careful, which is cool. Very cinematic battles. Fear Queef. Gonna charge. No. Why would you aim there? Fuck. 
Move, move, move. Yeah. Fuck! Uh, the animation is hard to gauge. I fucking dodge, bitch! I fucking dodge that, bitch! Me! You can't fucking. What? What? Okay. No. That was better than the first time. There's a bit of dodging, the timing's annoying, as you can tell by my outbursts of rage. <laughs> ah, sick, we don't have to walk back. Actually, we took care of your Zoogle problem for you all. What? Surely you just... It's sheer ferocity gives even the city's own guardmans. Pause. A reasonable reaction for anyone with a level head to have. What? what? You think I'm not level headed? Sure. sure I do. If you consider fighting a giant Zoogle first thing after arriving in a new city to be level headed. Uh. What about you? You're the one who agreed to help because you didn't want to have to sleep rough. That's got nothing to do with... Er, uh, pardon my interrupting you too. Suffice it to say I believe you now? Yes. Clearly, I underestimated just how strong the pair of you clearly are. Save your thanks. As long as we get a warm bed and some nice food, we'll call it even. What? I don't remember you asking for food before. What? What was that? Nothing. Don't mind me. Now, to finally reopen the gates. <laughs> Allow me to welcome you both to Vicent. In earnest, I'm confident our city will be to your liking. You're giving me high expectations, that's Great. for sure. Well, let's head on in. Can't see the city. Tease. What are you fighting for? Oh. I'm Renan, you're Danon. There's no way. What could a Danon like you possibly gain from helping a Renan like me? You really can't feel pain? It's just another thing I don't have. I don't remember anything about my past. A man numb to pain, and a woman whose very touch deals nothing but. You're wrong. You think this curse is some kind of great ability? Ball's in your court, soldier. 
What do you say? I want to fight. To live and taste freedom! Let us finish this. We've got a better chance working together. It's only over when you give up. You can trust me, you know? And even lean on me. Until the day I died, I knew I would be alone. I wish we had never met! Peace. Then I wouldn't have to feel this way. I have everyone to thank for that. Including, especially you, Alvin. Tales of a All right, uh, let me show you what it looks like on Steam. It's very cool, very nice. Let me just change to display capture. There we go. Uh, stop. Tales of Arise store page. Uh, Donald a, a oh it's not it was on special the deluxe edition was sixty bucks it's a hundred thirteen ultimate edition a hundred forty six normal one is eighty. I don't know. I've never heard about this game. Let's look at the reviews. Uh, the game is very positive. Released 2021 by, by Bandai. Uh, not recommended after 20 hours. Do not buy this even while on sale. It's an average game at best with an incredibly contrived storyline and boring, repetitive, yet flashy combat. Those complaints alone wouldn't be enough for me to bother writing a review, but the insanely predatory monetization is. Many of the best artists, aka moves, are only available through DLC, DLC purchases. In addition, you can buy all the following. Permanent plus 1000 health, 2000 XP, 2000, 2 times XP, 2 times CP. OP weapons, reduce crafting to a single mat, reduce cost of crafting, reduce vendor prices and game currency, instant fishing. Plus levels plus CP and more than I can't be bothered to remember or write. Purchasing this game with this knowledge only enables such ruthless predatory monetization. And this guy has got 56 hours in. I've been playing video games for as long as I can remember. However, I can say for certain Tales of Arise is my favorite video game of all time now. I could write a long explanation of everything I enjoy, but simply put, this game is amazing. Below are what I believe makes a game good. Since this is a fighting game, combat is ranked as well. Combat 1010 with the wide variety of enemies, bosses, weapons and items. You can play virtually however you want. Gameplay 1010 Tales of Arise makes you feel like you are in your own world. Graphics 1010 The graphics are simply amazing even in a large world and never seem low quality. Replayability 1010 You are bound to discover something new every playthrough you do. There's almost infinite possibilities. I don't know how. Story 1010, the story starts out slow, but after you progress enough, you begin to appreciate the development of it. Final 5050, a masterpiece. I believe Tales of Arise is a must-play game for anyone who wants a true gaming experience. Tales of Arise is amazing and has something for everyone. Recommended, played on Steam Deck, very enjoyable until I moved the game to memory card. It crashed a lot, random when playing, but overall this game very recommended for action RPG lovers. Steam Deck is truly perfect companion for gamer like me. As for RPG, JRPG lover, this game very recommended. 70, 100 hours, 77 hours, 100 hours. Okay, a poem, no thanks. 46, 73, 59. Seems like people finish it around 60 hours. Hmm. Not normally an RPG guy, but this game blew me away. A really compelling story with a well-developed main party of characters who each contribute their own play style to the game's battle system, which lets you do a ton of cool stuff. It looks absolutely stellar and sounds just as good, and it's a fairly long game, but not an overwhelming degree like some other games in the genre. The difficulty curve is a bit all over the place, especially in the early game, but if you can get past that, you'll have an amazing time. 90 hours, 9 out of 10, one playthrough, 100%. Ooh. 
Sweet couples and racism in Save the World, the game. I mean Rinwell because being close with those Zoogles gave me constant anxiety, even on normal mode, and I like dealing big numbers from afar. Regardless, gameplay is just as fun with any other character. Plus, Hoodles are cute. Okay, 30,000 reviews. It's, it's a well-known game. I bought it. 25 hours ago and I have 24 hours played. It's good. <laughs> Great game, don't buy the DLCs. Got my controller working and the game is so damn good. My controller fixes as follows. Okay. This will be completely spoiler free. 100 hours. Let's. This is... Oh shit. Alright. This is the last one we'll read and then we'll end the video here. By the way, if you're still here, thank you very much for watching. I'll do this at the end because I think people skip at the end. But thanks for watching. Uh, this will be completely spoiler free. I've completed Tells Arise PC yesterday after playing around 80 hours on moderate difficulty. I've done most sub quests and I wanted to share my thoughts on this game. I have also posted the same review on Reddit. Many people here on Steam Review have barely played the game to give any valid opinions about the game. So here we go. This was posted September 2021, so like two weeks after the game was released. I have completed six tales of games before, multiple fantasy, Final Fantasy games, Xeno Gears, Chrono Trigger, Wise and many more. I'm not going to compare games or rank them, I want to share my thoughts about this game that might be interesting for others whether or not to buy this game. First impression, it was very good. After playing the old games, the very first moment you start this game, it was a big wow for me. Unreal Engine on a Tales game? Everything looks amazing. Fun battle mechanics, interesting story to start with. Absolutely amazing. Story. After finishing the game, I think the story was okay. It's not great, but also not bad. Graphics. Not much to say. It looks very good. Nice looking environment, nice looking skits and anime cutscenes. For a Tales game, it is absolutely amazing. Music. It is good, but sometimes it was too much. Exploration. I have quest markers on a minimap. It is very clear where to go and what to do. And PCs also have the check mark about their head to indicate that you have already talked to them before. There's a fast travel waypoint system so you don't have to walk. The game really rewards you to do exploration for a good gear and items. I managed to get some very awesome items by exploring as much as I could in each map. The game also has an interesting cooking system that gives a lot of good buffs and a campfire to restore HP CP. Finishing was also a fun activity to do while exploring the map. Oh, fishing. For me, exploration was very well done. Quests. Doing the side quest gave very good rewards and did not feel like a chore to me. Core. Chore. The biggest problem that I have is that there was no recommended level for the side quest. It happens very often that you are, let's say, level 20. The side quests tell you to kill an elite monster and it turns out this monster is level 30 plus, which is basically impossible for you to complete right now. In my opinion, a recommended level will be very much appreciated here. Overall, the questing is fun, has good rewards, but the system has some flaws. Battle. It was fun to battle at the start. There are many things you can do in battle and I like that. There's not really a second where you have to wait for more action. Yeah. The, some boss fights were also fun and challenging for me to do on moderate difficulty. The biggest flaw that I have with the battle system is about the AI. There is no way to control which monster your AI party members will attack. This basically made the battle less fun and borderline annoying, especially in the second half of the game where the monster's HP was a lot higher at moderate difficulty. Instead of you deciding how you battle, I had to look at which monster my party member was attacking and attack the same monster. The biggest problem is when the HP pools of certain monsters was very high and it pushed you against three elite monsters and because of the lack of control over your party members, this made the fights more difficult than it should be. Also, they could die easily when facing big attack from bosses. If I could at least control that they attack the same monster, this would have been a much better experience for me. Overall, this felt like a missed chance. Great idea, fun battle system, but just a small thing of having no control will be annoying for many players, especially at difficulties higher than normal. Dungeons. Very small puzzles and easily doable without using a walkthrough. I think it was fun to explore all the rooms to get good items and gear. And also to retrieve key items to proceed within the dungeons. Yes, some monsters are some reskins, and for me it was not a big of a deal, just a minor thing. 
uh, DC's ads. I see a lot of complaints from people. Personally, a little bit of advertising on the right side during a campfire was not a big deal to me. I did not feel forced to buy any DLCs. The game is perfectly playable without buying any DLC. Um, final thoughts. I have enjoyed my 80 hours in this game. Long game. I'm happy with my pre-order on the standard edition. I have got enough hours of enjoyment from this game. If I have to give it a grade, it would be either a 7.5 or 8, depending on my mood and how much weight I place in certain aspects. Overall, I think it's a good and fun game to play, but it has some flaws that diminish the initial first impressions. Give an award. I will give you a golden unicorn. Boom. Alright, so that's it for Tales of Arise. Very cool game. Uh, beautiful. I'm going to wait for the game on special, but even at full price, $80 with... Um, with eighty dollars, with that eighty hour playtime, I think for me that's okay. Uh, I basically usually want to have like a dollar an hour in video games. That that's what I think I, I want to get. Um, I probably will buy it on special. I don't know if people want to watch me play this two year old game on stream, uh, but just for personal game. Um, I was looking for a JRPG. I like the comeback system with uh, with the macros, I guess you call them. Very beautiful graphics. Cool. Uh, the voicing was a bit overwhelming in the battles. Uh, but look at those graphics. Just looks nice. Anyways. Woohoo! If you're still here uh, from YouTube, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed my content, if you want to... Um, uh, tell me, uh, suggest some more games, leave, leave, leave them in the comments. Uh, if you enjoy this, give me a like, give me a subscribe. I really appreciate it. A small content creator like me, every like is like a good hit of dopamine. Puts me in a good mood, good motivation to, uh, to keep editing and trying hard. If you're watching this from the, the VOD on Twitch, thank you very much for checking in again. That means you're one of my followers and I appreciate ya. Salt Goblin on YouTube, Salt Goblin on Instagram, Salt Goblinoid on Twitch. And I will see you in the next stream or the next video. Peace.